name to be God. God. Number one, what is your name, please? My name's God. Number two, what is your name, please? My name is God. Number three, what is your name, please? My name is Gott. Okay. <laughs> Gott? No, no, Gott. 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 G. G. O. 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 T. T. Gott. No. T as in uh, David. 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 Yes, my name is Gott. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's get right down to this. To help us find out who the real deity is today, we have our contestant. She is a VP in sales for a local vegan juice company, which seems like a redundant label, but whatever. Here's Lisa Wilkinson to our show. It's Lisa, actually. Woo! Lisa? Lisa. Well, mm, agree to disagree. What do you say we kick this party right in the face and get started? Ask your first question, why don't you? Okay, um, God number one. What proof would you give a skeptic that you are, in fact, God? Well, I know how people are impressed with brute strength. So I flex my biceps! <laughs> okay, that was weird and uncomfortable. Okay, Leanna, go ahead and ask your next question, please. It's Lisa. Um, God number two. What? I've always wondered, what were you doing before you created the universe? Why, well, you puny, insolent worm. I'll tell you what I was doing. I was thinking of punishment for people like you who ask stupid questions. <laughs> Alrighty, almighty. Loretta, hurry up and change that topic. New question, new question. You really just can't say Lisa, can you? I'm sorry, next question. Okay, uh, God number three. Yes. Hypothetical situation. Uh, there's this game show host who's either completely deaf or has severe cognitive dissonance. Um, I'm not saying that I want you to hurt him permanently, but what are my options? As I have spoken through my chosen one, that ancient sage, Kim Kardashian, <laughs> the flower of youth is the nectar that feeds the bees of creativity, which produce the, the honey of progress, which sweetens the the jelly of civilization spread liberally over the toasted bagels of history. Now, I just made up that quote and used Kim's name for credibility, but you, you know what I'm saying, yes. Right, um, God number one, what's your answer? Well, I know how kids are impressed with brute strength, so I flex my biceps! Okay, still creepy. Uh, God number two, what, what about you? How dare you challenge my authority? All wicked people will be swept from the face of the planet, <laughs> including you, if you do not obey me. Okay, um, right. Uh, God number three, I've got a sticky situation at work. I'm thinking of selling my company. And I'm worried about what will happen to my employees when I'm gone. Um, how can I be sure that they'll be taken care of? Before you leave, have them memorize the, uh, the ritual of right thinking. Yes. The ritual of right thinking. <coughs> yes. What is that? Oh, life-changing words, which, if repeated regularly, will provide health and prosperity. So what are they? Oh, simply repeat over and over again. I didn't love school. I have cellulite like every other woman. And Botox is not surgery. Yes. What? <laughs> well, it's actually our Kim Kardashian quotes. Oh, if I could interject here, I know that people are impressed with brute strength. So I think this is a good opportunity for me to flex my mindset. Okay, God number two. Oh, I am sorry. That is all the time we have today. Lala, it is time for you to make your selection. Will it be God number one, God number two, or God number three? 
Well, uh, God number three seems serene and ethereal, but um, kind of dumb. Yes. Uh, God number one is strong and very powerful, but I think I picked God number two because ultimately I don't want him mad at me. All righty. Well, let's see who the real God actually is. And now, would the real God please stand up? That's right! None of these are the real God. They are all imposters. The real God is behind this curtain. Just kidding. But who knows? I'm sorry, Lolita, but you lose. I myself would have picked God number three, because I just want a God that's more, you know, laid back and chill, because I don't just don't need God yet. But whatever. Thanks for joining us, folks. I am Bennett Barker signing off and asking you, what do you think God is really like? The answer might be more important than you think. But whatever.